Nerd bro. Take out the tick bro. Just leave the talk bro. It's time to talk bro. That OT cow. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, everybody? I'm your host, J. Creole. Welcome to that OT couch. I'm with my beautiful co-host, Jenny Mabalita. What's up, girl? How's it going? Hola, mis amores. I hope you're having a good weekend. It's beautiful outside. Oof, I can't wait to get out there, though. So, 6 9 and Casanova squashed the beef. It's about time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. <laughs> yeah, but one thing that's bothering my mind. What is that? Really? DJ Academic now try to be a rapper. Oh, let's not talk about that. I really don't think uh, that but, <laughs> he should be doing that uh, for but, sure. But, but, but anyway, on some serious shit though, mm. J. Cole, the album. He's actually really good. Uh, 1985 is the track I heard. And it's amazing. Talks yeah. real for sure. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Why <laughs> the Almighty. Oh, let's not talk about that. Black uh, China. Black China there. Oh, man. <laughs> what a you know trend. I mean? Oh, but hey, that's that that's life, you know what I mean? But they're going strong. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not even going to uh, talk about that right now. <laughs> so, you heard about the Drake beef? I did. I did. Kendrick. Kendrick. He brought that. Shorty. He shouldn't have done that. Uh, or she shouldn't have done that for sure. I don't know, but man, I just don't know, man. I don't even say the um N word. I can't say nigga. Shit. But fuck that. Uh, yeah, man. Um yeah, she said nigga, dog. Really, my nigga? <laughs> I will not even go there. I'm Latina, so you know. Yeah, so but we got we also got some uh, great out on news. Yeah, for sure. The city is actually pretty hype. There's a lot going on right now, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, and um, the sports, like sports, like right now at La the Copa moment, Mundial. it's a great time to be a sports fan. For right sure. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, but uh, but everybody, we got a great show for you. You know what I mean? Before we bring our first topic, we are gonna go to a little video. You know what I mean? Let's go to Storm J. G. G. When they talk about me, what? they say he lit. Eh. Nobody can stop it, boy, just sit. sit down. Actually, go, cause you're over your head. Whoa, damn. Ripping at 509 and that 613. Oh, oh, leaving a show. Stacking them racks easy like a free throw. Oh, swish. Killing my shit. Eh. Early in my prime, cut me optimist. Damn. I'm a cup of A, do this every day. I don't really play with 2K, maybe on a Sunday. Hey. Yeah, you. welcome back. We at you. Myself. Jenny Mabalita, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, yeah. So, today we got a, you know what I mean, a very, a very special guest for you guys, you know. Yeah, we have uh, somebody from the city, actually. It's really exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually very excited to have him. You know, Mustafa Zaydin. He's, uh, he's an actor from uh, Cold Southern Blocks. I'm looking forward to talk to him. You know, so amazing. It's going to be a great interview, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has no, a lot of talent. No so doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Look forward to that for sure. Dude, dude actually scared me when I watch him on screen. <laughs> I ain't even going to front you, I'm telling you. He's serious for <laughs> yeah, sure. He's serious, yo. <laughs> but let's get back to business. Yeah, 6 9 and Casanova. <laughs> Shit. What you got to say about that? <laughs> yeah, but uh, but you know what, though? Like on on some serious thing, I think it's uh it, it it's great for for the culture. It's great for hip hop to see, you know um, cause I mean I know beef actually make people make some people's career, but for me personally, I would like to see most people like kind of like working together and then and um and like on the other shit, you can have like somebody those two guys from New York. I mean they're, from, they're both from New York. So when you have two people from the same city, you know, uh, kind of like beefing one another, that can, you know what I mean? It's also taking money from their pockets. Cause, For sure. Because, like, if some club is not going to have you knowing that, like, you know what I'm saying, like, there might be some heat. And then they can both, like, if, if you have some in the city and you can book, book actually, both of them. Yeah. With, they should be focusing on mostly 
their fans, you know, to boom both of them together. Yeah. You know, so it's good. It's really good for them. Uh, I think career wise. Yeah, sometimes it's good for the for the culture when two people like beefing, but but the, like when you from the same city and you know what I mean like friendly beef. Uh, you know exactly. what I'm saying? So so like, but uh, when you have like something that can take it to the street and people get hurt, it's uh, it's never you know it's never a good no, uh, a great sure. thing. You know? Yeah. yeah. So so like that, that. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm so happy. These guys put their differences together. Me too. I mean. Uh, not together, but they put the put put set it away like oh wait. We wait. know what you mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Because <laughs> when you put difference together, that's not like something else. <laughs> you say forget. That's another topic. Forget that's another. <laughs> that's another topic. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, talk about another topic. So DJ Academics as a rapper. <laughs> no, nothing. DJ Academics. Two videos right now. That's just, actually when he did the first one. I thought, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's cute. You yeah. know, he's just doing comedy. But now he's, it looks like he dropped a second music video. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe he's he's on to something. <laughs> but should is it a little act or a little? What was it? A little act or a little AK? I think it's a little act. Well, to me, it sounds nicer. Little act. I, I don't know about that little act shit. I would say like little AK, because that's just more gangster. Yeah. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> you mean? Huh? More gangster. Yeah, that, that, that's why. Because mm. if you play in a character, I might as well, might as well like be G. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, real talk though. Uh, but uh, on some uh, real shit, um, he can actually make, uh, not a career, but he can get his paper from there though. If this music, because the music is getting like a lot of views, you know, and he already got a platform. So so you never know, like, people might get him, like, you know, just in the club to perform tracks and stuff because he already got the, you know, the platform to push it. Yeah. So, like, I, I mean, I'm actually, I can't hear it. Like, I was bumping to that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually serious. I thought it was a video. Like, I legit thought he was serious when I saw the um, first one. Yeah, he's probably, like, like, okay. probably like, a comedy type of rap. Yeah, but I, 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 I fuck with it. I rate it still. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, he's probably not doing shit, but I read it still, you know? Yeah, <laughs> For yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, must def. So, yeah. J. Cole. He's got a great album. Yeah, for sure. The song 1985. Do you think it's uh, dissing the rappers? No, actually, I don't think it's, it's dissing everybody, like any rappers, matter of fact. Because, you know, J. Cole, I consider him as a, as a pioneer, you know what I mean, in the hip hop game, you know, he's. Like, if you're looking as far as, like, where hip-hop came from, you know? So, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to any new no, artist right sure, now at yeah. the moment, you know? so But uh, J. Cole is one of these guys that give it, you know what I mean, raw. And mm -hmm. what, he's what he's talking about is real, you know? So, so like, and also, like, if you're talking about real hip-hop, I know people still talk about there's not, hip-hop is still real and what it is. But, you know, for me, I came from the biggie, you know what I mean? The Tupac and them, you know? So Same I here, yeah. Yeah, so I still, I still, I, I rate that track pretty, you know what I'm saying? Like, pretty, like, pre a pretty ten. That's yeah. a, that's my new thing now, yeah. okay? A pretty ten. It's <laughs> pretty not, ten. It's not a low ten, an <laughs> ugly ten, but a... A pretty ten, you know what I'm saying? So, so the album like itself is just, it's just magnificent. And like I, you, heard, you, you talk about this track. Actually, my 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 favorite track is uh, Count It Up. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I love to count that hill. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You, you know, know, get that, that buddy, get that paper. Sure. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so like, yeah, Count It Up. Actually, yeah, yeah. Um, I I was bumping to it, and it's got picked up. I, I first time I heard it, NBA playoffs. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was bumping. So, but uh, yeah, so so I mean, this is a great album. So, I definitely you know read it and I tell people like yo get that shit, get it. I literally think it's real. I mean, what he says. I don't think he's dissing anybody. I mean. It is what it is. Rappers these days don't like to hear the truth. Yeah, they do take it personal. Actually, we have somebody that answered to... to, uh, to oh, yes, the, that's true. Yeah, it's one of these YBN boys. I don't really know, like, the exact, like... Because there's so many YBNs. Like, it's got a... YBN something. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Y'all go find out. It was on Wall Street. I didn't really see much about it. I didn't actually listen to the track, like, itself. But I know when somebody answered to it, so... Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, but I... I yeah... But what it is, what it is, though, you know? Yeah. 
So, YBN Almighty in Black China. What do you think about that one? <laughs> uh, me? I don't know it's YBN Almighty. I'll more like call him YBM All Naughty. <laughs> oh, Because, <boy. laughs> god damn, this, this motherfucker. That, I'm going to tell you something, though. Black China, like, it's like a, an expired, excuse my language, pussy. Mm. Cause that shit, like, there's been so many nigga running train up in that motherfucker. So, anyway, so you know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna go there. But, oh, but listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. All right. But, okay, let's get serious. <laughs> my bad, my, I'm waiting. My, I'm my, waiting bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm tripping, I'm tripping right now. Okay, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come down. Yo, but you know what, though? They actually, <laughs> they're, they're like going like strong right now, yo. It's been going for a minute. She's uh, really special, I can say. I really thought she was still with the baby mama of, of your her child. I would, I had no idea she was with this uh, guy. You 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 mean like baby daddy? Baby daddy. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Maybe it could be baby mama too. Yo, that nigga, I know why you said baby mama though, because there was a time he looked like he was fucking pregnant. <laughs> Fuck. She <laughs> real talk, man. So but wait, uh, I'm bad. You called a you called a dude a a, a baby mama. You talk about she could be I'm, going both ways. Yeah, you don't but, know now. but but anyway, though, like I, I, I I'm gonna tell you, but I'm I'm, I'm happy for them. You know, if if they're happy together, that's all that. But I don't know, I don't know how yeah, serious that shit sure. is. But if they're happy, that that I mean, keep it going, guys. You know what I mean? Keep keep why 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 BM all or why BN all mighty or all naughty. Just keep doing your thing, bro. Tap that booty. Take care of that poor. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say to that. You said it all. You said it all. Well, that's what Black I do. I say I, I I just say things. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a. <laughs> I'll give. A shit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so while somebody squash beef, somebody else is starting. Actually, do you know who that is? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you do. I heard the news. <laughs> it's like a deja vu. Yeah. Now, like, I mean, I heard people saying that, yo, Pushy T should be like, yeah, careful, man. Because he saw what happened to Mick Mill. Shit, why would you want to mention Drake on your track, shit? That's what I'm saying. Drake is, he came back, though. He's going to, he's going to murder. He's going to murder him. <laughs> like, somebody need to call 911, not Wyclef, like Mary J. Blige 911, but I'm talking about the real 911. But Drake, I think, uh, but anyway, though, I can't knock Pusha T. Yo, Pusha T's serious, though. I know he's going to come back with some heat. I can't wait to see what he's going to come up with, for oh, sure. Oh, man. Like, uh, yo, that's, that. you know, this is the type of beef, though, I love to see. Why is that? Because I think it's mostly going to be like like ly lyrical stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like lyrical, like mostly lyrical. Because when you got two MCs like uh, Pusha T and, uh, and Drake, well, <laughs> like D Drake, I hope, nigga, you writing your own shit. I had to say that, you know, like I'm not trying to be the, yo, Drake, I love your music, my nigga. Like, don't take it wrong and shit, but I'm just hoping that, you know, you come, you come straight on that, you know, because, you know, the game, the game deserve like everybody to write their own shit. But yo, dude, that came, you, you came out with some fire though, <laughs> you know, but push it, get your game on, 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 on some, some, some flicks on some high level shit, you know, but I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen though. You know, that's just, the, sure. that's just the beginning, you know what I mean? Like, I, uh, shit, that, that's good for hip-hop, though. <laughs> yeah, that's a 100 on that. I just wondering, Drake, why doesn't he write his own comeback? You know what I mean? Like, he has to try. No, but you, you don't actually know if he doesn't, if he didn't write it. This is just like, I guess, that's what brought up the first beef with, uh, I mean, beef with uh, Mick Mill and, uh, and, and him. Because yeah. it was that, but then, then we bring it. It's like so going now back. He's going back in circle. Actually, it's gonna stay with him for the rest of his career. Like That's whenever sure. something come up, they always gonna did he actually write it? Yeah, exactly. But I just hope uh, Pushy T just come hard at him and push him. Like, cause his name is Pushy T. Push that uh, that tabernacle. <laughs> Shout out to my <laughs> homie Daddy Mitch. <laughs> Yo, you know this for my French people too. You know, push that tabernacle. Push your T. That's what you know what I mean. So let's let's get it, man. It's good for hip hop. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see what its comeback is. Yeah. 
when we come back, we're going to have our guests. Yo, man, I'm so excited to talk to this guy, Mustafa Zayden. It's going to be lit for sure. Ladies, come. Don't don't miss this one for sure. Yeah, we're going to. But before we do, though, um, we're actually going to play a little flick of this guy's acting, yo. Shit, I told you, man. Like, I, I don't want to see this guy, like, in a, in a fucking... Like, Holly, I don't want to mess with this guy. That's real talk, though. Like, in that <laughs> show? Fuck. Yo, anyway, yo, let's watch the, this uh, little flick of uh, Mustafa Zayden on, uh, in Cold Southern Blocks. Watch. Sos? We'll see. Just put the word in the streets. See what's being whispered. But make no mistake. I'll make sure to find these motherfuckers that stole from us. I'll make sure they'll pay with their fucking lives. And on top of that, the fucking families has interests. Long does it, boss. Good. What are you waiting for? This Yo, yo. Welcome back. You just met Rashid. I mean, Rashid as a G. Oh, Lord. If I was this, don't me. God damn, bro. This guy is scary. Yo, but uh, that was Rashid. But now we have in the studio with us Mustafa uh, Zayden. Zaden or Zayden? Z Zaydan. It's Zaydan. Like Zidane, the, the soccer player? No, no, no. Like, it's Z-E-I, not Z-I. <laughs> Zidane. But, I mean, I got, I got, you know what? I didn't feel like the introduction that I give you, you know, fit the type of jobs that you actually put in in that show. So I'm going to give you a bigger introduction. Ladies, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. But uh, but yo, you did you did uh, like an amazing job in that show. Thank you, appreciate. It. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was like really, really impressed with uh, how you took that character to to like another level. Well, actually, if if you want me to be honest, like I, I'm watching myself act, and I'm not satisfied. I felt like I could have done so much better. Oh, is that uh, right? Yeah. But like basically, it's a learning curve, right? Because it's my first time acting in a show. Well, that that was the next the next question. Actually, I was gonna ask you. Um, yeah, so I guess you already answered. So I was gonna ask you if, uh, you know, like uh, if you actually already act before. Uh, just like a couple of like, like school plays, you know, back in middle school, elementary school, but like nothing major. Like this is literally my first time. Like, this is my first time actually attempting to do some acting in a show, and I felt like. Maybe for next season, if I'd actually memorized the script rather than... I kind of winked it a little bit during the show, right? So I was always thinking about, like, what's my next line? What's my next what's my next line? So I felt like my acting was not at its full potential. But uh -huh. I feel like next season, if I actually, like, had some practice, I'm going to do so much better. And, and, you know, practice does make perfect, right? Yeah. So, so but, uh, like, I mean, same time, like, the reason why I'm giving you so much credit is the fact that I know many people from the show... Did it's like first time acting, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I feel like even if you're not a great actor, I feel like uh, still you might have, there might have been a possibility you have a acting background because I feel like the job that you did was pretty amazing because you know what I'm saying. And and uh, first time acting like that that's pretty good because like I said I was telling <laughs> I was telling these guys like yo. Shit, I, I, like that guy, like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to meet this guy, you feel me? Yeah, so, yeah, so um, let's talk more about uh, about the role. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rashid, tell me, tell me, tell me about Rashid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is, is Rashid close to, to like, the, like, Mustafa? Is he close to the character itself? Is he close to, like, the, the, the actual individual? Yeah, so basically when Rashid gets angry, it's, I feel like it kind of represented like how I, I would get angry. Like this is how your typical Middle Eastern person gets angry. Mm -hmm. um, when when like I was acting the role, I basically just imagined myself actually getting angry, but like on behalf of Rashid. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so pretty much like the, the, the character like fit you. like you know Yeah. What I'm yeah. The character yeah. fit me because like that's how we usually get angry in general. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, I guess the person that did uh, the casting did uh, an amazing job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh yeah so so i mean uh like i i mean uh, i keep 
saying the the same thing. It's not like I'm gonna repeat it again. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I just you know was uh, I have to give you a lot of praise. You know what I'm saying for 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 the way that you played that role. And the show actually is building um, a good fan base. And and you want probably wanna yeah. yeah. So and then I'm looking. They, they definitely like like so. Why do you think? I'm I'm not sure. Like you probably haven't get like I guess your. Uh, part as far as what you're gonna play in the second season, what do you think your what do you think your character like is going for that upcoming season? To, like how you see the season like en- like ended and stuff. Well, because I mean like uh, as I as I saw like the you guys like about to go to war and stuff. You know. What yeah. I mean? So like I haven't like like obviously I haven't read the script for the second season or mm-hmm. like that. But I feel like the way the season ended, I'm basically going to be a lot more present and a bigger role in the next season. Mm-hmm. And whether I'm going to like die or not, like I don't know what's going to happen to me, but I know my role is going to be much bigger mm-hmm. for the second season. So, yeah, man. Um, but I, I mean, all I can tell you is uh, it was still a great performance and I'm waiting to to see your character in uh, in action for, for the next, uh, next season. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but... Uh, as far as like, uh, let's say, um, you know, I mean, the the going in to 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 the role, right? How do you uh, uh, prepare yourself? Like, 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 you know, what I'm saying, like, when you're gonna go on on set and you know you're gonna like actually, you know, like, how do how do you prepare yourself to actually go and become this monster? Okay, so with all honesty, like not too much preparing happens at home. I'd say like once I get there, I literally like go in a like mental state where like I imagine myself being angry at something that's happened like before in my life. <laughs> and I, I just think about that until he says action. That's when I basically yeah, so look, like say the you word. You know what that remind me of when you say that? Like the water boy. What's the matter with you, boy? You too stu- stupid to do what your coach tells you? <laughs> no. No what? <laughs> coach told me to pretend. <laughs> he seems a motherfucker. It's like, yo, I hate this guy. <laughs> uh, sorry, you know what I mean? No disrespect to, to you know what I mean to to anybody, but but you know you seen the water, but that was one of my actually just one of my favorite movies because it's actually really funny, yeah. you know. So so like, uh, I, I definitely so you see, you know what I mean, something, and then you just like, but yeah, just go into yeah, it. basically like basically thirty seconds before he says action, like I already put myself in that yeah, state. That, that that that's uh that's that's amazing, man. That's yeah. amazing. Um, so. But uh, the last question I have for you: Are you like, uh, is uh, acting something that you're gonna consider in the long run? Is that something that you just uh, kind of like, you know what I mean, uh, doing uh, right now and see, okay, where it goes, and then I'm on just like whatever. So how how do you feel like later on, like if this thing actually pushing, if something that you're actually looking to to do like in a, in a, in in the future moving forward? Well, it's, I, I wouldn't say acting is my plan A. I'd say it's my plan B. It's like, okay. Uh, whatever it takes me, it takes me. Like, if, if it opens more doors, like, that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, but most opportunities I get, I almost never decline. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, that's, that's great. It's not like if somebody wants to, like, open the idea. Like, I'm, I'm definitely open to the idea of acting in more shows. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. So, yeah. whatever it takes me, it takes me. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, like, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing you, like, you know what I mean, doing this thing and in, 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 uh, in actually taking it to that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> to Hollywood. See, like, this character, like, not just the character, but the men himself, like, uh, you know, in Hollywood. Yeah. But, uh, you know, before, like, you know, we wrap it up, I I think our girl, Jenny, the hot, sexy mamacita, Jenny, my, my, my belita, got a question for what's you, what's you know what I'm saying? This for yeah. the ladies, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. When I saw your clip, the first thing I saw, I was like, wow, does he work out? Because those arms, you know, <laughs> they're pretty dangerous. So do you, like, is that what you do? Do you physically work out too, just to, you know, make the character more interesting? Well, I know I don't work out for the character. I'd say I was like that before. Oh, before, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So that's how JC yes, got you. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's my question. I'm pretty sure all the ladies were looking for, so... There's your answers. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so um 
Yeah, brother, man. It was a uh, great, like, you know what I mean? It was great to have you in, uh, in the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm definitely, you know what I mean, looking forward, uh, you know, looking forward to see more of you in Cold Southern Block and just uh, keep keep getting better, keep, pers you know what I mean? It only goes yeah. up from there, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. but uh, like, you, I mean, you're one of my favorite characters. But I'm scared, like, like shit to meet you in that show. But I mean, <laughs> you're one of my favorite characters. I'm so. one of my favorite characters, Yeah, and too, uh, thanks, so. thanks for coming. And then we're definitely looking to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah. That was an awkward yeah. handshake. Once I once I so before like let's do this again. That was an awkward handshake. Yeah. I like this more. See? There you go. There we go. Oh, that was an awkward handshake too. Okay. I think yeah, it's gotta be more formal, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, brother. Alright, bro. For Marco, moving to Canada seems like a perfect dream. But little did he know, all around him is a nightmare. When you meet my brother, don't mention anything about the biz we handle. I got you, bro. I just moved to the country last night. Fresh you? Yes, yes, off the boat. You guys been keeping the street hard now. They want a war. We're gonna give them a war. A lot of people Let's get together and smash this motherfucker. I'm gonna arrest every last one of these sons of bitches. Man, I'm a plan in store. I'm long time wanting them good on for when I do the Kirk in the day. Brother. Yeah. What do you do for work now? Everything is set? Everything's good and ready to go. I work in construction, but I'm contract. Get me a job there. I would love to work with you. All right, man. I'll work on that and I'll let you know. It's the cold, sword and black. Cool Southern Blocks, now playing on Sarakot Films' YouTube channel. Subscribe now. That OT cow! Kendrick Lamar on stage, calling that white girl on stage, huh? And she got, I don't know, I'm gonna say she got the nerve of saying the word nigga. You see, I'm not, I'm not gonna like, filter this motherfucker I got my I'm you know what I mean like I, I'm a real nigga <laughs> she, she ain't but they, she has a nerve to say the word nigga on stage so what's 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 your what's your take I on that I literally think she did not think about this <laughs> she was on there she was probably excited hyped and she thought oh they feeling me let me say this <laughs> Saying that I'm down with them, but she did a big mistake for sure. But uh, what about, uh, what do you think about uh, Kendrick? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you think you think he has something to do with it. Do you think that that's that's that was sort of planned? Uh, planned? Because th that, I, I heard people saying this song itself got about like, uh, <laughs> saying the word the song there's the plenty on the time he say nigga in that song it's one of his songs that I have like the word nigga pronounced like many times you know yeah. yeah um it could be it could be nothing will surprise me uh but it i think it might be planned because i don't think he would jeopardize that for sure mm. i know white girl like me latina would not say that i don't know but <laughs> I, all i'm saying is like somebody fucked up like because that the, the, you should not just be going out there like on stage with no fucking joke yeah, like and, and sure. just like like I'm, I'm actually you know like a little cheese about that, that shit word. like I, i'm cheesy you know can i just go on stage and then like whatever like you know and just go out like feel like you can just like fucking just drop the end bone like whenever you feel like it like you gotta watch your mouth and shit you yeah. know what i'm saying like you know like and that's that's just pretty much what it is like she if kendrick got some if kendrick got, like actually plenty i think that's still fairly fucked up you know so like I, i'm not even gonna feel to that shit that's right that's how i feel you know yeah for yeah, sure yeah. i think a lot of people feel that way yeah so but uh but at the, at the end though I, I love kendrick though he's got he's got great <laughs> music i'm still still uh you know i think it's one of the great out there right now you know so it's pretty much you know so don't fucking do that again <laughs> watch out white girls yeah me yeah so um but we're going to take a little break. But when we come back, uh, we actually going to talk about, you know, give you some news about what's popping in Ottawa in the city right now. Yeah, you know I man. So, so like, be right back. We're going to play a little music. Wall up, wall up. And then we'll be right back.
the one and only KGJ. Let's do the compa. And I'll lay and do the compa. All my sexy ladies do the compa. All my fellas do the compa. city of uh, of Ottawa, a great cup city. OT. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, artist uh, KGJ, yeah. he announced like, uh, you know, he didn't announce it publicly, but uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He uh, actually planning to go like on a mini tour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, um, it's uh, pretty much like the city Ottawa itself, like in uh, uh, probably New York, Toronto, no way. Haiti. Yeah, yeah. It's that's gonna be lit for sure. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it's, it's great for for like you know fans. I mean, this kid is talented, so it's great. It's gonna, gonna be a great thing for 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 like the fans everywhere. So watch out. Yeah, watch, watch out, out for watch that out, for watch sure. Out, watch out. Earlier, we had a guest on the show from uh, Cold Southern Blocks. Yes, we did. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad. Well, I guess we announced like it's obviously it's gonna come in for a second season, mm -hmm. but uh, they also have a a party. A party, oh. season-ending party on the 23rd of June. So make sure you there. You know, it's gonna be you're gonna be able to see the, meet the guests and uh, and have actually young KGJ. We announced the top, like the tour earlier. Yes. It's gonna be He's performing gonna be there at, too, uh, as well as Dodo Banks. And we have a uh, they they also have a guest uh, from from uh, from Toronto. Yeah, special you guest. You don't want to miss that out for sure. Exactly. It's gonna be it's gonna be lit for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, Cap City, you know what I mean? Like, the hip-hop is strong here. It's getting stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, we have to talk about the, 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 the state of music in the city. is just at a, like, high level right now. We got different podcasts, different, you know what I mean? Yeah, we do. Yeah, different podcasts, different artists, like, everybody coming in, like, and you know, bringing the city to another level. Yes. So, uh, which talk, which bring me to the next point, like, actually, uh, I gotta give a uh, give a shout outs to uh, new BRL show. Okay. Uh, these guys they've been going on strong for a minute, you know. They're like uh, and you can check them like every Friday 
every Friday. Make sure you check uh, the new BIR show every Friday, uh, 3 to 5 p.m. at uh, 89.1 FM, you know. So it's going it, to, like that, I had to give this sh- these guys a shout out, you no, know, for, for the job sure. they're shout doing. Shout out to them, for and, sure. Yeah, shout, shout outs to Lil Triller. What up, homie? <laughs> and uh, um, a shout out to DJ Live. Sh- what up? You know, keep up the good work, guys. Yeah. Earlier, we mentioned the, the season ending party. Um, news news just came in. I'm going to act like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not a producer or anything. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, no. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, Cold Southern Blocks actually uh, start filming season two. So, so guys, look out, look forward to Cold Southern Blocks season two because it's in production right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Marco, sports news. Like, I mean, uh, I don't know where to start. There's so much, like, hot things going on right now. We got the NBA. We got uh, the, World the, Cup. the World Cup. For oh, sure. uh, We got the World Cup. We got the, the NHL right mm-hmm. now. Like, since mm-hmm. we're in Canada, we might as well start with the For sure. Let's the start NHL. with the, Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, um, like, I mean, something amazing is happening right now. We got uh, Vegas. Mm-hmm. First time. In the history, it's like crazy, the first crazy. first season, then the finals. Yeah. And they have a pretty good shot to win it. They do. They have a strong team, for sure. Oh, man. Like, uh, so you think it was fair, like the way they like they did the draft for them to, these guys to get their players? Um, I mean, they have an advantage because they're able to choose the yeah. players. You know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, I mean, you know but, I mean? but you know what? At the end of the day, I, I, I just love it because you know what? At the end of the day, these guys, they still have to put the team together and exactly. they still have to win. Exactly. And that's exactly yeah. what they did. Kudos to them. But let's go to the other team that's in the final. Washington, uh, Washington I almost said Washington Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, Washington Capitals. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, Ovechkin. Mm. Ovechkin. This surprise, guy get, surprise. This guy get his ass whooped <laughs> every year by Crosby, and finally he made it to the finals. The Lord was with him this time. Yeah, I guess so. You know what? That, that is great. I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, yeah I'm happy because he's a great player. And then let's see how he's going to do in the finals. Exactly. Like, I'm looking forward. I don't watch hockey, but I think I'm going to watch that finals. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good. He, he, like, he's... When I say I don't watch hockey, like, like I don't watch it every day, but I do watch hockey. Okay, my Canadian people. <laughs> go Canada. <laughs> yeah, go Canada. No, I don't watch hockey because there's no Canadian team in the finals. You know, Winnipeg, oh, bless, but you know what I mean? But I'm going to watch this final, though. This for year. sure. Yeah, so... At where, where do you think we should go next? La Copa Mundial. La Copa Mundial. <laughs> the World Cup. Yo, this year's World Cup is gonna mm. be it's gonna be fire. Look, yo, me, I grew up in Haiti. Obviously, yes. you from uh, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. So our countries, we watch we watch soccer. You know, we, number one, we call right it there. soccer, but we call it football back then. Football, home. yeah. Exactly. We go football, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I can't, yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for June, man. June 14. Yes. The World Cup gonna be like yo, make, make guys, uh, you know, make sure you stay with it. June 14 World Cup. So, who's who's your favorite team? I have two. I love Brazil. You got two teams. I do. I do. I do. I love Brazil. Hmm. And I love my Barcelona. But but that's not the World Cup though. That's you know my favorite like, team. No, but I was asking actually the <laughs> World Cup though. The World Cup. Let's say like, a, oh. yeah, we talk about the World Cup. Barcelona, ben Brazil. Like, yeah, Barcelona is clubs, you know. You know what I mean? But but when we talk in the World Cup, we talk <laughs> about like like countries. You know what I'm saying? Barcelona is a city, right? Then Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. So so like so you love Brazil. I love Brazil. Ah uh, my God! Like most people in Haiti actually are from Brazil. Like, yeah. I mean, not from. I, know. I, I said they're from Brazil. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. No, because actually, they, they most people in Haiti they love Brazil. But myself, like I, I support uh, uh, most of the African countries mm-hmm. in um, like uh, Argentina. Oh. Okay. Argentina, because my mom is a big fan of Argentina. Is she? So, wow, exactly. So I support Ar- Argentina. <laughs> but who's, who do you think is the the fa- like the favorite to win it? I don't know. I'd say Argentina because they have Messi now. Um, I'll say uh, <laughs> Germany, Germany, uh, Germany. Because these guys, they, they like do their long legs and they're like, oh my God, that's freakish. Like, are these guys, they're like so tall. Yeah, but Messi, yeah. Messi, come on. Uh, yeah, Messi. No, he's but I, legend. He's, he's talented, but I'm saying like Jim, Germany, I want to say Jim, <laughs> Germany is one team that you can never count out. Like, yeah, I mean, that's one of those teams. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll say Brazil second and Argentina third. I think Argentina's first. <laughs> okay, well, that's, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. But, okay, um, NBA. NBA, mm. NBA uh, Eastern and Western finals is on right now. 
So so like uh, we got uh, um, we got uh, Cleveland. Yep. Like tied three three with uh, um, what's 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 that what's that in Boston? You see the reason why I don't even like like you see the reason why <laughs> I forget Boston name because it's a team I don't like Boston. <laughs> Don't, I don't say that. I don't like Boston. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I don't like Boston. So that's that's why. Like you see, I, I didn't even remember who was in the Eastern <laughs> Final because I don't like Boston. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I like your know, um, Cleveland fans. Like, don't worry. I think you got it. LeBron the King, he got it. I love it. Yeah, three three right now. And watch the second. Second, as, as we filming, as we filming this right now, the game seven is tonight. So let like I mean so. Uh, by the time we come to the next show, you're going to know we win. But I mean, I pick Cleveland. I'm on the same boat. Oh. Okay. Ma- <laughs> One thing we actually agree Mama on. Mamacita. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right. So the Western Conference, we got uh, Golden States and uh, and uh, Houston. Yes. 3-3. Three, three, tied 3-3. Three, three. So we think going to take it. And Houston actually playing at home. I think Houston. Houston got a great shot of winning. But because right now they're the the, the – the best player, like you know, what I mean, not the one of the best players, like uh, is hurt, and I'm hoping that he plays. Uh, you know, what I mean, Chris Paul is actually hurt right now, so that kind of put them, I'll say, like in a and in a, some sort of predicament. But you know, like I, I hope, you know, what I'm saying, like they <laughs> they win. Me too. Yeah. So, but but I'm, I'm, I'm going, going strong. I'm going, going strong. for I'm going for Houston too. I'm definitely going yes, for for, for sure. Houston. I, I'd rather see. I don't want to see the same team in the final all the time, ex- unless you Cleveland and LeBron. <laughs> Yeah, real talk. Yeah, but uh, so that was our sports for today. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to jump right away on the, the the tip of the day. Perfect. Yeah. No, actually, you know what? My bad. There's something I had to talk about. Like before I go, I need I needed to, to, to talk about, about that. Like I, the, the NFL. The NFL actually made a decision. I I had to, like I couldn't go without talking about that. Okay, <laughs> the NFL made the decision to tell his players not to like they're not they put a rule like that they're not allowed to kneel down and uh, like because they were doing it because of like obviously you know black people police killing black people and all oh, that. Okay, okay, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But they decided to put a rule like to tell these guys like they, to, can't, you know, they do can't do it. Do that. And I don't think that's something else. It's almost mm-hmm. like taking people's right away. Like to you know what I'm saying to like what what do you think? I don't think. They should stop that. I mean, it's out of respect. They're doing it to respect. Well, that's why I watch the NBA, NFL. Though I, I think people should boycott the NFL. That's my that's my thing. And next year, I, I don't think I'm gonna watch that league. So I had to say that. But uh, shout out to all the players. Keep doing what you're doing. Like uh, and shout out to that owner from uh, the owner from Philadelphia. Actually, uh, was it Philadelphia or New York Jets that said that actually he's gonna pay the fine of every players that actually take the kneel. Uh, because he thinks it's not right what they're doing. Hmm. So, so like, I might watch the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so should we go to the tip of uh, the yes. day? Yes. What's your tip of the day today? Uh, my my tip of uh, of the day actually came from actually do, uh, uh, doing the show right here. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'll say, like, you know, um, guys, um, whatever, like, you, you're doing, you know what I'm saying, just, just do it. If you have a vision... Keep that vision. You see, I mean, it's it's about keeping keeping your your vision. And if you have a vision or doing something, keep that vision. No matter like people are gonna try to tell you, like you know, what I mean, see their own vision and try to put their own imprint on it. You know what I'm saying? And if you listen to too much noise, that might like misguide you, like you know, like and turn you to another direction where you're trying to go. So uh, my tip is to keep your your vision. It's like an advice type of tip thing, but keep your vision. Have that vision and follow it to the letter. You know what I'm saying? So that was it. So what do you think? That that also goes for the women's too. I mean, a lot of women are scared to go for something that they don't believe they have, you know, mm-hmm. the capil- capability of doing it. But just go for it, for sure. Yeah, you feel like... It felt like when I'm talking about it felt like a rush and adrenaline, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For, for, the, sure. for, the, for the first show. And I was like, you know what I mean, excited. Like I'm excited for the World Cup and all these things, though. That's what I'm talking about. There's so much you going on. I mean? like, There's talking, so much to talk about. I'm talking like that. So but uh most definitely, um, I wanna take everybody, you know what I'm saying, that watching on YouTube, Facebook, and uh this was our show for today. Yes. You it know went very saying? well, I think. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I uh, like we had a great guest and uh, We did. And uh 
sexy man believed that I did her thing. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> should, I, like, should I bring her back? <laughs> I think so. What do you guys think? <laughs> so leave the comment and let me, let me know what's up because I, 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 I know what's up. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Yo, thanks you for tuning in. You know what I mean? Thanks a lot for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you next time. Yo, much love. Ciao. Au revoir. <laughs> that OT counts.